So you want to buy a property in paradise and don't have tons of money to spend. Buying a condo in Hawaii can be a great option to get your foot in the door, so to speak, and own your slice of paradise. Aloha. My name is Stephen Prosky, and if you don't know me already, I am a real estate broker here in Kailua Kona with Compass Hawaii. So, can buying a condo in Hawaii be a good thing or a bad thing? Well, in today's video, I'm going to cover some of those concerns. If you have questions about this video or want to know more about the Big Island of Hawaii, please leave me a comment below. With condo prices starting around 400k for a fee simple unit, this, my friends, is the easiest way to get started in the real estate market here in Kailua Kona, Hawaii. First, there are two types of condos here on the Big Island, Fee Simple and Leasehold. You are probably very familiar with Fee Simple ownership, might not know much about Leasehold. Well, with Fee Simple, you own the unit and a portion of the ground where it is located. With Leasehold, you only own the unit but lease the ground from the landlord for a fixed period of time. Those leases could run between 10 to 20 years, but it is a lease and they do expire. We get calls all the time and emails from people saying, hey, I found this great condo with ocean views for $175,000 and I wanna buy it. Sorry, but there are no ocean view condos in Kailua Kona anywhere near that price point that is fee simple ownership. It is more likely a leasehold condo. So, make sure when you're searching for properties, you determine fee simple versus leasehold ownership. That's not to say that leasehold condos are bad ideas. For some people, they can be perfect. You need to know the differences between the two. Otherwise, you can make the wrong decision on purchasing a condo here in the Big Island. Next, you need to decide whether you plan to renting the condo out once you purchase it. Before you do that, you need to know that the Big Island of Hawaii requires owners to obtain a permit if they plan on renting out their condo for short periods of time. So you need to determine whether the complex where the condo is located will allow short-term vacation rentals. Here on the Big Island, any property that is rented 30 days or less at a time is considered a short-term rental. And if you plan on going this direction, you will need a short-term vacation rental permit to rent out your condo. Not all condo complexes here on the Big Island will allow short-term rentals. So you need to do your homework when considering buying a condo here in Hawaii if going in this direction and want to do short-term rentals. Your realtor, should be able to answer that question for you. I would. Okay, we decided that we need to hone in on the type of property we are searching for and the intended use of the condo. Now, let's focus on location. If you have visited Kailua Kona in the past, you know that the majority of the condos here are located off Alihi Drive, either on the Makai or Mauka sides of, of the Alihi. That's not to say that there are no other condos in and around the Kona area, and there are. You can find condos from Captain Cook all the way up to Waikoloa. You just need to decide which location you prefer and what type of amenities that you are looking for in a condo complex. The next item that we need to talk about is buying a condo here in Abai with financing. First, I can't stress it enough. You need to use a local lender if you're buying a condo here and getting it financed. Mainland lenders are not familiar with the different types of properties here in Hawaii and you could be spinning your wheels, so to speak, going in this direction. Just saying, lenders will not finance a leasehold property unless there is more than 30 years remaining on the lease. So you will need your cash to buy a leasehold property here in Hawaii. If you are financing, you need to make sure the complex is not considered a condo tail. What is a condo tail, you may ask? Well, some of our complexes here are primarily owned by investors and are run by property management companies that also control leasing. When you run across one of these complexes, you will find it difficult to obtain financing. So to avoid this problem, we would recommend you use a local Hawaii lender who will be able to guide and direct you if you run across a condo tell. If you need a mortgage lender, let us know. We'd be happy to refer you to one of our trusted lenders. 
If you need a realtor, like myself, I'd be happy to help you find a condo or a property here on the Big Island. Just reach out to me anytime. Next on our list are things you need to be aware of when buying a condo here in Hawaii are the HOA fees. Yes, HOA fees on Hawaii can be a bit on the high side. With our unique climate and coastal location, condos require extra maintenance. With the close proximity to the ocean, salt, air, and humidity, these things can wear down a building a lot quicker. Plus, many complexes offer multiple pools, hot tubs, barbecue grill areas, tennis courts, and lush landscaping. All of these can contribute to a higher HOA fees. Another reason is utility cost to maintain the complex. Yes, Hawaii has some of the highest costs for electricity in the U.S., and condo owners share with a proportion of those costs through their HOA fees. Another factor is the price of insurance. HOAs must maintain insurance on the entire complex with Hawaii's unique weather potential hazards of tsunamis, hurricanes, and earthquakes. This cost, again, is shared with all condo owners and can be driven up the cost of your HOA fees. Another reason why HOA fees can be a bit expensive here is the management of staffing the complex. Yes, many comp condo complexes here have resident managers who assist the owners on a, on a daily basis and also maintain the complex. These costs can be passed along to the owners through their HOA fees. Remember that the HOA fees are covering items that you would be responsible for if you owned the property outright, like maintenance, insurance, amenities. They ensure that your condo complex is maintained and looking great. So make sure when considering buying a condo in Hawaii, what the HOA fees cover and what they do not cover. Most complexes here cover building insurance, building maintenance, water, trash, grounds, and facility maintenance. Electric is generally your responsibility. However, there are a few complexes here that do provide air conditioning with their monthly HOA dues. So make sure you ask all the right questions when you come to HOA fees when buying a home condo here in Hawaii. Yes, I did say some condo complexes here have AC. However, the majority of complexes do not offer air conditioning in their condo units. Rules and regulations is next on my list of things you need to be aware of when buying a condo in Hawaii. Make sure you understand about the parking, pets, smoking, rental restrictions, assessments, reserves, all the things that you should be important to you. You can get some of that information prior to going under contract. However, once you have obtained an accepted offer, the seller's agent will order all that information for you so you can be well informed prior to closing on your condo. You will have access to all the complex rules and regulations, copies of the HOA meeting minutes, financials, covenants, conditions, and restrictions. Also, whether there are any pending assessments on the unit in the complex. Things that you need to know prior to owning that condo. With regards to parking, well, spaces are not generally deeded and the complex can change your parking spot when they feel like it. It does happen at times. Most complexes do not have garages or covered spots, so you need to take that in consideration when bringing a vehicle over to the Big Island. Not all complexes are pet friendly. Yes, that's a big issue here. So if you have a large dog or a cat, you need to do your homework on the condo complex to determine if they are pet friendly. And as far as smoking, condo complexes are smoke-free zones. And if you are a smoker, they generally will provide common area smoking spots for the complex residents. So that wraps up what we feel are the most common concerns when buying a condo here in Hawaii. You need to do your homework to make sure you make the right decision on purchasing your condo here on the Big Island. As mentioned at the beginning, buying a condo in Hawaii can be the easiest and most affordable way to own a slice of paradise. I would really, really appreciate if you would hit the subscribe button so you can get our weekly videos about Kailua Kona and the Big Island of Hawaii. If you need any help, feel free to reach out to me anytime at one of my email or contact sources below. I would welcome the hearing from you. Until next week, mahalo and have a great week. Aloha.